Today on the channel, we take to the sky with the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, Mattel Elite Survivor Series Edition. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Elite Survivor Series unboxing and review, and today... We've got AJ Styles, but remember for all your Mattel Elite, AEW Jazzwares needs, and a whole lot more to hit up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Of course, Survivor Series Wave is up there right now for you to grab if you so choose. Uh, but of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We got old AJ Styles representing Team Raw in the Survivor Series. Uh, looking good right here. So let's break it down. Let's take a look at the packaging on this one first. And old AJ's right there in the package. He's a, a pose there in one of his signature poses, which is really cool for you men on card collectors. Very cool Survivor Series packaging, as we've been saying here as well. Got AJ looking only like an AJ Styles could look, or maybe a Kyle Peterson could look. Every every day, somebody in the comments says, uh, did anybody ever tell you you look like AJ Styles? Or they say, did anybody ever tell you you look like Big Show? Uh, so every once in a while, you get some of those things. But uh, AJ Styles looking good, looking good, if I don't say so myself. Uh, AJ Styles, uh, usual background elite, Survivor Series, true effects, certified authentic, AJ Styles, Mattel elite, all that excitement. And there he is. Got quite the face on him right there, old AJ Styles. And on the back of the package, there it is. We got the tail of the tape. We got the blur. We got the glamour shot. We got the cross sell. We got Rick Rude. Of course, we're unboxing all these guys on the channel. Make sure you subscribe. And then at the end of the week, we're going to build Rick Rude. And we're going to rank this wave from my least favorite to my favorite. So stay tuned for that one. Let's read the back see what's going on with old AJ Styles today. From Gainesville, Georgia, beautiful this time of year. Height 5'11", weight 218 pounds. Highlights, WWE Champion, United States Champion, Raw Tag Team Champion. The phenomenal one led Team Raw to a clean sweep victory against Team SmackDown at Survivor Series 2020. Oh yes, oh yes, there it is. Uh, looking good. Without further ado, let's get him out of the package. See what all the fuss is about. See you later. Up high over the top. There it is. And of course, Rick Rude build a figure piece in there. There he is in the plastic prison. Looking good. Pop that out. Pop that out. Pop out the old Rick Rude piece. And then it looks like he is not buckled in. What do you know? Old school. See you later. It's nice to get a figure not buckled in for once. They've all been buckled in as of late. Uh, we do get the Rick Rude piece. Unfortunately, this is like a one-off tie thing. So I'm going to have to buy two of these for sure. Uh, because i got to build both versions of Rick Rude on my shelf. But we do got that right there. Of course, AJ Styles has his open hands so he can do the little pose with his gloves. But we also do get open hands as well. Would have liked to see a fist, but not in the cards. Uh, it does say AJ on the gloves. Looks good in the red and black attack. Uh, of course, Team Raw member, he's got to have stuff like that going on. And then very interesting, we've never seen this before. So he's rubber banded around at the hands here. But then we got a plastic piece as well in between the hands. And I have to assume this little plastic piece is so the paint doesn't possibly rub off on the figure. Uh, but we always see these holding in shirts and things. It's just a little gloved hand. That looks uh, interesting. So first time in the line. First time in the line right there. Uh, so now we get old AJ Styles here. And this is possibly off the top of my head the first AJ Styles figure we've had with pinless joints. Could that be? Uh, we do remember a few years ago it seemed like we were getting an AJ Styles in about every single set for a long time. We were getting a little burned out on AJ Styles. Now it's been a little dormant for a while. It's been a while since we've had an AJ. Uh, we do know we got a few more coming soon, but this one is uh, AJ Styles by the book. Uh, a heck of a lot. This is doesn't feel like a whole lot new here. I could see this one traditionally being maybe the peg warmer of the set, but since it's been so long since we've had an AJ, uh, this might do okay out there at retail. Definitely an interesting one. Uh, I'm not going to be using these hands unless I had him in that pose. I'll probably use these hands. Uh, just uh, looks better. I don't know. It looks better in a point of difference. So some of my AJ Styles already have in that pose. You got to mix it up, make it feel as different as possible, especially with an AJ like this, with this head sculpt that we've seen in the past. Good, beautiful, flowing locks of hair. He's got quite that cool side part. Really cool part of her hair. That's the way you should do things. Or it made us naturally part that way like some of us. That's just the way it goes. Uh, but very good, of course. Articulation, arms go all the way around. Bicep side to side. Double jointed, pinless elbows. 
Always here for that. Hands removable, extra hands. We do get the uh, little bracelets there. Say AJ Styles on them. Those are removable if you need to. Painted on sweatband of AJ Styles on the forearm there. And then you get the raw shirt. We'll dive into that here in a second. Then you get the raw gear throughout. He's got the raw on the side of the tights. I don't even remember that. But raw on the side of the tights. The black and red. Phenomenal one down on the boots. P1. A phenomenal one on the side as well. Uh, looking really good. And then you get a raw shirt here. Now... I don't under, quite understand this one. Well, I do understand this. you got to break it down business-wise. But we got the Polly Pocket style uh, shirt here. Not a big fan of that. I don't think most of us are a fan, especially when we think back to last year in the Survivor Series line. We get a Soft Goods Raw one. So we know Mattel still has these out there. I wish they would have used this for here. But I got to think this was a little bit cheaper than this, of course. And with the total budget of the line and all that stuff, sometimes stuff has to give. And I think that's what we saw here. They had to go Polly Pocket to save money because of the whole line. We saw that just recently. What is it? Legend Series 15 at Target. All the other DX members in all the waves got the Soft Goods DX shirt. X-Pac got the Polly Pocket style one. So uh, there is a precedent for it. Uh, if you do have an extra Drew McIntyre, I wish I had an extra Raw shirt. I'll have to look through my fodder. Maybe I possibly do. We'll see. Uh, but I would like to put a Soft Goods Raw shirt on here if I can uh, make that happen. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, it just is what it is. Uh, I just think a lot of people probably aren't into the Polly Pocket style. Uh, it's not for them. But AJ, of course, underneath. Uh, and I feel like I have to display him in the raw shirt. Uh, at least one of these shirts. I guess this one for now. Just because it is the raw gear. He was on Team Raw. You got the raw on the side. It just makes sense to keep him as a member of Team Raw. Uh, but I really do wish they would have used this Drew McIntyre shirt. I think that would have went a long way. Would have appeased a lot of collectors for sure. But uh, let's put him on the ringside stand. Let's see if he fits. Of course he will. Fits like a glove. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% at old ringside collectibles. Uh, Got to get those stands for these figures. You don't want them toppling over in your display cases at all. And you got to see a little height comparison between him and Drew McIntyre. And I think that looks about right as well. So a good AJ Styles... Is it a great AJ Styles? I don't know if I can go that far. It'll be interesting once I get these guys lined up and I start debating and thinking, okay, how do I rank this set? How do I figure these guys out? And we will be doing that on the channel. We'll be building Rick Rude along with that as well. Uh, but it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see this AJ Fairs. It's not one I really needed in my collection, uh, but it is an interesting one. We'll leave it at that for now. Much more to come here on the channel. So let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this AJ Styles figure. You love it? You like it? Easy pickup? Easy pass? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, like this video. You made it this far. You might as well. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day. And don't forget about the Patreon link in the description below so you can get access to videos like this much earlier than traditional YouTube. Bonus content, exclusive content, monthly giveaways, and like I said, best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget to follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for AJ Styles, a guy that has styles for miles, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.